hello, it's me, the Business Mart, and it's time to get down to some business. Today, I want to talk to you guys about ASOS. I think we all know about ASOS, but I'm going to go into a bit of extra detail, give you a background information, just sort of bring up the speed on what the company is about. So, let's go. ASOS was only actually founded about 15 years ago at the turn of the millennia back in 2000. So it's a fairly new company in terms of clothing and it does it. It's only really had most of its success over the last sort of five, six years since obviously the online boom has just gone crazy. Everybody pretty much has Wi Fi everywhere, 4G everywhere, tablets, smartphones. And it really pretty much delivers on its, on its slogan, which is that this, they're going to discover fashion online. And they want you to discover fashion online. It was actually founded by Brian McBride and Nick Robertson. And they, Nick Robertson is actually a former entrepreneur, so obviously he was probably quite instrumental in the first founding of the company. And to be honest, they've got about 4,000 employees, most of them being in the fulfillment centre in Hertfordshire and then the rest being in their head office in Camden Town. So they are a British company and they're actually doing really, really well. If you look at their revenue in 2014, 975 million pounds, okay? That is an astronomical amount of money. And when you look at their pre-tax profits, they're actually at 15.7 million up to 30 million. So. That is actually crazy, and then sales up by 46% at 495 million. ASOS's main selling point is the fact that it sells hundreds and hundreds of other branded products as well as its own brands of clothing. They are in the industry of fast fashion, so their competitors are people like H&M, uh, Zara, and companies like that. They sell pretty much everything on their website you can think of. Um, it's almost like a one-stop shop for the age group they go after is 20s. They call it 20 something because it does literally just vary from 20 to up to 29 and obviously get people either side of that who just find themselves buying from ASOS. So that's who they aim for and they are doing really, really, really well to be fair. Um, they are at the forefront of when it comes to apps, um, obviously utilising connectivity. They're one of the first online websites to make sure they have accepted pretty much every major form of payment including PayPal. Okay. If you have a Unidays account or a NUS Extra Card, you can get 10% off at ASOS with all of their full price products. And of course ASOS do offer free delivery on everything, so it's pretty much a match made in heaven. They do also have like a premier delivery service, which is a yearly subscription fee. Pretty much, I'd say like uh, Amazon Prime, so you can get next day delivery. I think it's 9.95 per year, and of course you get unlimited free delivery all year round. So you can always be fresh with your clothes from when you click it to when it's delivered. It's very very quick. On to a bit of analysis. When it comes to ASOS, because they don't have actual stores where they sell their products. They do save an awful lot of money when it comes to overheads, you know. They only literally only operate through the website, so all they have to worry about is their supply chain, getting their products to the customers on time and in the best way possible. They don't have to worry about employing people to serve customers, work in stores, they don't have to worry about training up people, they don't have to worry about all the headache that comes with uh, finding the right location, uh, maintaining these sorts of uh, places, and obviously keeping up brand standards in terms of uh, when customers are in your store, something which H&M spend a lot of money on and of course maybe is their unique selling point but ASOS's unique selling point is that it is literally just all online, there is no need to go in store, it's all in the, vis in the virtual world, that online airspace. ASOS are one of these companies who do take the environment very seriously and they have something called fashion with integrity, so they want their customers to know that the products they're purchasing from are sourced properly, people who make them are being paid a good wage and to be honest it's something which all companies should be doing nowadays, if they're not then you really are losing, but ASOS are buying on it, they are 100% onto the ethical trade. So because they're a growing company they're obviously having to spend a lot and a lot more on building their, building their sites and their, their 
performance centers. They have been monitoring their carbon footprint since 2008, they say. Obviously, when a company is monitoring it and you know taking it seriously, they can obviously take steps to reduce it. And again, most companies should already be doing this, but ASOS are championing themselves and already being at the forefront of this. This foundation is a foundation which they have been doing in the UK to get more young people into a career path, maybe to do with fashion, giving people an opportunity to actually, you know, become more involved in what it is to actually run a company like this and pretty much just give people some skills and opportunities to learn things they otherwise wouldn't have usually. Now then, this is an interesting one. ASOS are obviously quite interested in how positive body image affects people and their customers and they really want the fashion industry to make sure they don't place too much emphasis on our society, especially young people, to look a certain way. So they do mention they have strict guidelines and the way they work with their models and the relationships they have with them to, of course, not promote any negative body imaging. And it's really controversial, this topic, because obviously you've seen all these ads and things like that. Um, I think it was, are you beach? ready or use your body beach ready something like that on the on London underground and obviously it's important to not alienate any of your customers or your or any the public or the culture you're in essentially and this shows you that they are interested in us people not just all about the money do have a Twitter account which is simply at ASOS they have 895 followers which is not that much to be fair but they do tweet out a lot, they respond to a lot of their customers' complaints, questions, uh, they do a lot of retweets, and something which they don't do, they don't have a recognised brand ambassador or a, any celebrity endorsements, so you can be sure that it just it pretty much is represented by every ordinary people, you don't have to look up to just one celebrity as the, as the, uh, the type, let's say, David Beckham of H&M sort of thing. Using ASOS for quite a few years now, I'd say about four years, on and off, not constantly, but let's say three or four times a year I might purchase a few things at once. And I have had no complaints whatsoever, never have had any bad customer service, never had any um, poor products. If there, there was one time I did send something back, they send you free delivery things, it's very, very streamlined, very, very efficient. And like I said, I've never really had any problems with them, but if you did, then they would sort it out very, very quickly, very easily. Um, I probably would recommend them to everyone and anyone who has an interest in fashion and uh, fast fashion, as they said. So definitely go and check it out. To give you an idea of the product range they have, what they offer, quite a lot of different trendy stuff they see going on. Not too expensive, either, let's say 38, 34, 38. Um, obviously these clothes are quite nice, ASOS, branded clothing, 12, 12, you know, it's not too expensive and they are very good looking clothes, you know, I think there's almost too much choice at times, sometimes you go through, you can spend hours and hours searching through lots of different things and lots of good things and it's about making the right decision, probably based on your own money rather than anything to do with ASOS, but you do find it a sport for choice. And when, if you are a bit more specific and know exactly what you're looking for, then you can filter everything in terms of product type, brand, size, colour, everything. It's probably the best website I've used in terms of searching for clothes uh, in the UK. Better than like Boohoo, Debenhams, Next, those sorts of websites. And of course you've got women as well. But equally there's a, just as much men's clothing as there is women's clothing. I have to say it's quite a lot, quite a lot of offering. So overall it's a very very good website and of course they had to have a good website since they are all about discovering fashion online. The thing is with ASOS is that although they're such a massive company, they show such a good template and a way of working which anyone I feel like could replicate on a smaller scale. As an individual myself, if I was going to start up on eBay, I could follow the trend that ASOS had sort of to get lots of different brands but maybe sort of specialise in one particular clothing type like military clothing or suits or something like that. If it was just something specific, I could take a similar approach to it in terms of making sure loads of different brands are pulled together, people can buy them all from one place and they know exactly what they're going there for. That's how I would emulate sort of more ASOS and they present themselves as a very good, good standard to follow. So it's been me, the business ma, and we just got down to some business. Mm.